afternoon and welcome to the glorious Yorkshire Dales. <coughs> Out for another overnighter and uh, kind of trying to decide what to do with this wild camp. Is uh, weather forecast being crap no matter where you look. Looked at Lake Districts, looked at Peak Districts. The best one at three but Yorkshire Dales. So we're uh, currently parked at uh, Water Sinks Car Park, which is just besides Malham Town, and uh, I'm going to head off up onto Fountains Fell. I've got here, checked another forecast, the forecast is still not great. We're better this morning than what it is now, but um, even so, it's, it is what it is. So, a uh, lot of low lying cloud on top, on top, top of hills, as you can see. It's, uh, it is spitting the rain, it's not it's not heavy rain, it's just spitting. So hopefully uh, we're not too bad. Like I say, we're heading up onto Fountains Fell. It's about eight miles up and nine away from where I am now. And uh, we'll try and find a pitch. We'll try and find a pitch somewhere up there. Have a look in uh, Fountains Fell Town. Good winter. So uh, stick with me, as always. And, uh, We'll see where we end up. Catch you later. Good afternoon, welcome back. I'd like to be saying well, welcome back to the glorious Yorkshire Dales. Well, actually, I've, uh, I've had the tent up for about an hour and uh, it hasn't stopped raining, it hasn't stopped being windy, um, clouds come down, it's just thick, dense fog right there. Um, I had planned on climbing up onto the top of Fountains Fell, um, but when I, the nearer I got to the tops, the, the cloud will just cover it tops. So I will, there's no point when I sit up there in, in cloud. So I um, I got pitched um, a little bit lower down. And when I pitched up, um, fog were coming in. So I thought I'll just make most of it, make most of it here while I can. So uh, <coughs> so yeah, so we pitched up. Um, I'm, I'm actually right on the edge of Pay Way. I know it's not the done thing to do. Um, but weather was, weather's just been absolutely shocking. I thought sod it. I ain't seen nobody for the last three hours up here. Um, I'm up here by myself. 
So I just thought, sod it, get it side up path, flat bit of grass. Um, and hopefully if, uh, if this fog plays um, over the next few hours like it's supposed to, there's a chance I might get some views. But I don't know, we'll have to see. Um, it has been drizzly all afternoon, so I've, I am, well, I, I've, I've dried out a little bit, but the water brush are all, uh, are all wet and wet. So, uh, I'm not sure what this video is going to turn out like. Um, the views, the views have just been, not the views have just been non existent due to low cloud. So, uh, so yeah, so I'm tented up, I've had a brew. I'm going to sit here and chill out for a bit, listen to some music. Hopefully by 8 o'clock this wind and rain is supposed to die die off. Hopefully uh, it might blow some of this uh, this low cloud off and I might get a, a half decent view for, for night time. So, uh, so yeah, I'll see you in a bit. Catch you later. Ethos. Something that us wild campers do all the time. Wherever we go, like how long we're there for, overnight, a few hours, always leave the area as, as you found it. Obviously, a bit of trunk down the grass, but just because all your rubbish and crap, take it over here. Wild camping at the minute is becoming more and more popular. I don't know if it's because of this COVID 19 or people can't get on holiday, but more and more people want to try wild camping. Uh, a lot of people getting out there into the hills and tents, leaving all the crap behind, leaving all the mess behind. Uh, making, it, making it bad for proper wild camping. People who go out there and like stick to the ethos. So I think it's important that we stick to the ethos, leave no trace, look after the area. The area is absolutely stunning and we need to look after it, not only for its own generation, but future generations. <coughs> it's great to be out and we should be incredibly privileged to have this fantastic landscape and fantastic land for us to roam and explore. Yeah, things aren't always got a plan. Things sometimes go bad as I've just had nearly 16 hours in a tent. Yeah, there's been times I've been out and I've videoed beautiful sunsets and had beautiful images to come back with. Unfortunately, today's not the case. But even so, always stuck to the same rule. Leave no trace. Leave no trace every time. So, uh, we we'll get the bag on now. I'm going to uh, head off back to the car. Uh, I'll probably, uh, I'll catch up with you. I'll back down. I'll see you soon.
So we're just coming down, coming down off the tops now, dropping down into the valley. Can't believe, can't believe how much of a, a stunning morning it is compared to yesterday and last night. It's absolutely stunning this morning. So we're uh, going back to the, what we were saying earlier about leaving no trace. Why would you want to spoil this stunning landscape? Free for us to roam. Why spoil it? Being up here, it's just, it's just stunning. Absolutely stunning. So, uh, there we are. So that's it then. I'm going to get towed down, back to the car, and then uh, I'll see you on next one.